can buy um, you can buy poster paste, but it's better to uh, or it's like kind of like a little bit cheaper to just make it on my own. So I run the brand on a little bit of a budget, so uh, it's just easy to just make this stuff right at home. This one's the fucking best. I love this shit. Yeah, we're in the fucking Bushwick Yacht Club headquarters. I'm in the light at the end of the tunnel. Paper stacks, yeah, I got them in the bundles. Harry Potter breaking bread with a muggle. They said I would have made it. Now they looking puzzled. Going down. Going down. Going down. Going down. Hey, Paul Wittos. Paul Wittos. That's, right? yeah, that's me, man. Uh, what's the number one? So the name Bushwick Yacht Club obviously makes zero sense, right? stops you for a second it makes you think like what like Bushwick has a yacht club and that's why I do the wheat paste posters that's why I put up all the stickers from a guerrilla marketing standpoint you see it and you're like what the fuck is this right made a hundred beanies thought to myself I was like maybe I'll sell 50 to my family and friends and I'll keep 50 in my basement as Christmas gifts to give for like the next 10 years. I thought it was gonna be like this funny shtick. It's like, oh, it's Christmas again, Aaron's gonna give me the same fucking beanie. Um, so from there, started a website, started an Instagram, did some like light influencer marketing, fast forward three months, and I had sold 750 beanies. That was it. That three months was was my proof of concept of like, this fucking works. Take the, take the brand out of it, take the business out of it, just like the human aspect of being able to like meet people who are doing really cool shit, like Danny Cortez, right? Amazing local Bushwick artist who makes like the dopest little miniature figurines. <gasps> Going out, buddy. Gucci, baby. Come in, come in. So me and Aaron met. See, when I when I'm working on a specific piece or anything, I'm looking for inspiration. I want to see who's out there, who's putting in the work in graffiti or sticker culture and all that together. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm noticing I'm seeing this yacht club, a Bushwick <laughs> yacht club, Bushwick yacht club. So like everyone else says, Bushwick has a yacht club, and I'm like. Yo, this is dope. You know what? I'm gonna put it on my piece, and I'm gonna look for this Bushwick Yacht Club. I'm gonna tag them and let them know that they, they are active. Aaron was like, I got an idea. Let's do a collab. And we're here today. This beautiful T-shirt right here. Photo taken by my boy Shutter Ed. Since New York City is always constantly changing, I'm just trying to, you know, document everything as much as possible. So, you know, my inspiration is just, yeah, it's just my surroundings. Yeah. So it's like, just take a walk around Bushwick. Yeah. And there's so much inspiration. So like, from the grit, the rust, the stickers, the graffiti, all that grime, what's what's ugly to, uh, to somebody else's eyes is beautiful to me. It's just, we pass by a dumpster. We pass by a, a fire hydrant. We pass by these things. These are daily walks of life. And and we sometimes we don't even take, uh, uh, we don't, admire or appreciate how dope that we're, the, the, the surrounding, because everybody's trying to copy New York City. Passing by a, a, a mailbox, it tells a story. The person that had to struggle or pay a bill or, or had to open that mailbox and put something in to communicate with somebody else, it's just overlapping each other, overlapping, and what makes it beautiful. So weathering time is just what it is beauty. So this is like, if you, if you think of the example of like what, what Danny's doing, you know, taking inspiration from the neighborhood and how we got connected, is I think he saw this sticker here. And like, just think like from his like classic ice boxes, right? What up, man? Just a, a small hot coffee. A one. Bushwick for me, I think is like, what's inspiring about it is its gritty nature is its raw, like, freedom of self-expression, that you can be whoever you want to be, you can be what you want to be, and you can be that w without kind of being judged. For me, it's like, a, a, it's very cool that it's a safe space for a lot of people. It's just been a really amazing thing for me to be able to kind of make a difference in my community and make a difference in my neighborhood. And what we do, every item we sell, we donate an equi equivalent blank one to a local shelter. So, for example, you or whoever buys this beanie, right? Uh, I donate a blank one, so one without the Bushwick Yacht Club tag, to a local shelter. Um, over the course of the last two years, I've donated 5,000 items of clothing to local shelters, 
and $5,000 in cash to local charities. So the door was founded in 1972. It's a really unique model. We kind of call it a one-stop shop for young people. You have access to services ranging from housing and shelter placement to food to a dance studio to an art studio, um, career and education services, health services, and beyond. Most of our young people um, come to us by word of mouth, so you can help us do that by spreading the word to any young people that you think might um, benefit from the door's services. I think that especially in a place like New York where need is really immense, it's easier to kind of close your eyes and shut it out, and I think just the simple act of kind of seeing what's around you and and addressing even a small piece of that need can make a huge difference. And what I always say to people is like, find something that lights you up. If everyone found that one thing that got them really excited and made them feel really warm, we could do a lot of really good things for our community. Bushwick Yacht Club, I like to call uh, neighborhood clothing with a cause. You know, basically this business for me is just like a, a great way to build a brand and to be able to give back to my community and to make a difference in places like The Door, in places like Bushwick Mutual Aid. Kind of use Bushwick Yacht Club as a medium to make a difference in, uh, in some, some people's lives. We, we are